Okay. So, you know, early on you were doing these shows, you picked up the name of the Prince of Street Art. Mm -hmm. But your art is really like pop art. Mm -hmm. So, what's the difference between street art, because you started, you started learning street art, mm -hmm. and when did you get more into pop art? Well, I'm going to start off by saying I started off as a street artist, okay. putting stuff out in the streets. My stuff wasn't necessarily graffiti, it just... They just was stuff I would put out on the street, so I fit in the category of street art. I went to street art shows. My original paintings, my first paintings, were more inspired by the streets, had more of a graffiti base to it. And even now, it's a little more abstract, but I still add elements of spray paint in it. But to a certain point in doing street art, you have to like think to yourself, how do I take it to the next level? Like, I can keep putting stuff out on the streets forever. But like, how am I going to reach the Basquiat or like the, the Andy Warhol, the heights of all the great artists? And so I just kind of focus more on my canvas work and my technical st skills and things I can do. And everything just kind of fused over the, to pop art. But I like to say I'm a genre bender. Hmm. I have like a street pop-ish feel. Like when you look at my artworks, you don't necessarily just get pop art. You get a little bit of street art in there too because of like, the, like I said, a graffiti or like just the way things are because when I do my backgrounds, I think of it, what if I'm spray painting a wall? What if I was painting a wall? How would I do that onto the canvas? I like to take a chunk of like a wall and put it onto a canvas. So I do a little bit of it all. You look at it, you, you get a little bit of abstract. You get a little bit of fine art. You get a little bit of everything. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest drops.